G'day all and welcome back to episode 2 of my tutorial series. I'm Sharpie101 and this is my auto drilling rig that I'll be guiding you through in this episode. I originally designed it for a drone to bring resources back to base but now I use it to dig and feed my underground base. Now don't worry, I will have a time lapse of it at the end of this video showing it from start to finish as you gotta enjoy the little things. So, this is a very basic build and I won't bore you with numbers or parts as it's all on my workshop and mod.io pages which I'll actually post in the description below this time. Anyways, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as it really helps to make sure you catch all my future videos and updates. So, before we activate this drilling rig and getting into the finer details, I wanted to quickly show you exactly what velocities are already set on my drilling pistons. That's these three right here. They're currently set as a fast retract speed of negative 0.4973. And there's a reason for that, but I'll explain in a moment. First of all, let's start it up by pressing button 1, jumping into our spectator camera, and accessing this thing via its antenna. So, straight away from this first button press, it's triggered this first timer, and what it's done is that it's turned on the rotor and started rotating, turned the drills on, and started this reset timer. But what I've also got it to do is increase the velocity on those drilling pistons, by 0.5 meters a second per timer trigger. So what does this actually achieve? So if we go into these drilling pistons and have a look what speed they are on now, we'll notice that it's actually changed. And it's changed from that earlier number of the retract speed of negative 0.4973. And now it's added that 0.5 meters a second from that first timer trigger and it's now changed it to 0.0027, which is a much slower and safer speed for these drills to work. Now don't worry, you may see in the, in the background that it is bouncing a little bit, and that is perfectly normal as I have the rotor set to that. It's perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with it. So, we'll continue on and go straight back into remote access, go into the terminal again, and continue on. So, this reset timer and this reset timer both the same thing, and all it does is that it gives it an hour to drill down. After that, it goes to the pistons out, which allows these drilling pistons to retract at that faster retract speed, and then extend one piston out to go to the next 10 meter layer. After that, it's the same thing for the second layer, and then after that, you go to the third layer, which will activate the drilling three, so the final third 10 meter layer. If it's needed, you can add the non-level rig timer and all that does is add an extra three minutes to that specific layer if it's unlevel or whatever it is without actually drilling down. After that, the emergency stop is exactly the same as the reset, except obviously a different name. And then the hole complete is the same as the pistons out, but it brings them both in. So the whole thing effectively is ready to start all over again. So, that's just about it. There's not really much to it, it's pretty simple. So as promised, I'll leave you with a 3 hour time lapse of the drilling rig and hope this tutorial has helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe for updates, future videos and all that good stuff. Till next episode when I guide you through my drone tower, which combines multiple remote blocks and timers to perform tasks at set GPS marks. I'm Sharpie101, thanks again for watching.